vlogmas welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl rebecca elaine and today is another day of vlogmas i'm so excited um so i wanted to have one really quick to introduce the vlog that's coming up so this is footage from over the thanksgiving weekend unfortunately I lost a lot of footage and so even where it picks up at, I lost the whole morning and so I just wanted to kind of explain what was going on so that um, you had some context. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the other footage. I mean, I guess it's just gone um, or maybe later I can try and revive it. I will. But um, so the painting picture for you, I was in a city called Beppu, um, which is sort of the southern region of Japan and it is known for its hot springs. Um, it has an area called the Seven Hills where there's like these seven really cool different type of like hot springs. Um, is it? Yeah, it's called hot springs, but you can't get in them because they're really freaking hot. Like. I think one of them got up to like 115 degrees Celsius, which is kind of like 170 or 200 something degrees Fahrenheit. So hot, hot. One of them even had freaking alligators in it. Oh my God. I wish you guys could have seen it. But anyway, um, so I was in Beppu for the weekend. We did a lot of cool stuff. We went to a safari. We did the Seven Hills. We did Thanksgiving dinner a lot so i'm really sad that i don't have that footage but where it picks up at is um our last night there we went to the beppu tower um and then the next day we went to do this little um i don't know if it's like relaxation or something but basically the sand in Beppu was like, or in this area on the beach was like really, really hot. And people actually go there to kind of get buried in this hot sand. And it's heated essentially by like the ground because apparently, um, I don't know how long ago, but uh, there was a volcano. And after the eruption, like everything got hot down there, which is why they have the hot springs and stuff. And so anyway, the sand is really hot. And so you pay to actually like get buried in this sand, which is... I don't know. I will say y'all stay tuned to hear about my experience with that. Um, and then afterwards, we went to a perfume museum and we actually made our own perfume. And in my case, I made cologne, so I made some for my fiance. So you guys will kind of see me doing that. And I'm actually gonna package that up and send it to him tomorrow. Um, so you guys will pack the gift up with me as well tomorrow. But let's hop in today's vlog. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and go ahead and like this video and I will just catch you all on the next one, but let's get into the video. All right, guys, now uh, we have made it to, I think, downtown Beppu, and in front of me is the Beppu Tower. Y'all know basically everywhere we go, we find a tower. So it doesn't close until eight, so that's really cool. Okay. We, can come. Uh -oh. we can come and check it out. Oh, she gotta get her pictures in. But, um, so it's not like super tall at all, but it looks kind of cool. So we're gonna go up and check it out. So this tower is definitely the smallest one that we've been to as far as as soon as you walk up it's oh, basically you like a gift shop. Oh, oh my book is downstairs. That sucks. You can get a stamp. Oh they got paper. Okay. You can get a stamp, but I'll just kind of show you. Oh, this is cute. They have a cute little photo area. That you can see down there. Oh, that's kind of cute too down there. But I'll just show you all that. These cracks all in the window. <laughs> So this one is definitely like not the nicest tower I've been to, but it's not bad. Let's show you all around. This is a cute photo op, of course. We'll be taking pictures here. I got some dining seating. I think it's a park back there. You can see like the mountain and stuff, but of course it's nighttime. Oh, they got the Christmas tree up. Okay. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> all right so we've made our way fully around so pretty small but i think it's cool nonetheless so i'm gonna get me a stamp let's see Uh oh, I 
just accidentally sprayed it with alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, we're just walking now. We left the um, the tower, but I was looking for some illumination, and there's actually some lights back there. Nothing crazy. It's just the trees, but it looks really cool and bright and shiny. So that's kind of cool. You gotta go down and around to see it, though. But at this point, we're just kind of checking out this street. I don't even know what street it is, but there we we're noticing that there are like some interesting facts on the ground too. Oh, Kitahama 50. Oh no, 50 is the mile per hour. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's a sightseeing map. Hard to say. Something bird's eye view showing the city of Beppu. Situation of Beppu. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, really just kind of doing like a little walking tour. Nothing crazy. Just checking things out. I should tell you guys, we've just been shopping around and we found a Yume Town when we were walking. We've just been shopping around. So I'm gonna look at my face really quick. <laughs> Most of my lipstick is on the inside of my mask, but uh, we've just been shopping around in Yume Town. I just bought a couple of things from Daiso. Honestly, stuff from my journal that's <laughs> been like my obsession. It's terrible, but nothing super um, cool so far, <laughs> except for this little girl <laughs> looking at me vlog. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I'm getting this back. It's really oh. All right, you guys. So we are definitely still in Yume Town. We stopped at McDonald's to get what we called a snack, but honestly, it's probably dinner. <laughs> I don't think we're going to eat again tonight. But I got me um, chicken nuggets, a small fry, and a small drink, but I just got a double cheeseburger to go because I know we're going to be up later and I'll probably want to eat. A little bit later but i think this is a good place to close out the vlog because honestly the only thing we're really gonna do is walk home or walk to the car um and then when we go home probably gonna like pack our stuff up because tomorrow we're leaving so pack up our stuff we had clothes in the laundry so we got a fold up our clothes and kind of pack and stuff and probably just chill out maybe watch another movie before we go to sleep tomorrow we are going to be like i said going back to the fan place and back to the fragrance museum so that we can make our own fragrance so i'm excited about that <laughs> whoop, whoop. the team is whoop, whooping me from behind y'all um, but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video um i realized that my vlogmas video so far did not have a lot of christmas like content but i'm not sure if it will or not and if we'll see i mean as we lead up to christmas i'm hoping that we'll see like a lot more christmasy type of things I really, really, really thought that I was going to find some illumination here in Bethany, but um, we didn't, so whatever, it's cool. Good morning, Elaine gang, and happy Vlogmas. I don't know what day of Vlogmas this is, but we are doing this thing. Um, today is also Sunday, last day in Beppu, so we are packing up and getting ready to head out. Um, my stuff is basically packed right behind me. Uh, we're probably going to be leaving out in the next five to ten minutes max because we are on our way to do the sand, I believe, getting buried in the sand, which I think that sounds like really weird. I'll explain it a little bit better when we get there. Unfortunately, though, it says no cameras, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any like video footage. But if we take pictures, I'll absolutely insert the, the pictures and I'll record what I can. But I think it's because it's the same sort of deal. If you guys saw my Matsuyama vlog, if you're not, I'll link it above. Um, but it's the same deal where it's like a public sort of area and we kind of shower publicly and then we go and get to the um the sand and so obviously there's people there um so we don't want to record any of that so let's just get going with our day guys Alrighty, we're back this is the location we are on site for the sand situation again i'll show you guys what i can when i can so as i'm waiting to go in i see this sign that i've actually never seen here in japan so you guys see it it's like tsunami caution 
I've actually never seen that before. So that's kind of creepy. And fun fact, I was actually in Japan in 2011 when we had that major earthquake and tsunami. And that was probably like one of the scariest moments of my life. Like literally, I saw the water receding, but it went up north and so such a tragedy. But I've just never seen that sign before. So that was actually really um, interesting. All right, so it's a 10 minute wait, but from what I gathered from the picture, I'll insert the picture, is basically you take a shower first, and then from, well, I guess you change to a robe, you take a shower, from the shower, you go into the sand, which is actually right over here, but it's a thing that says like no camera. So um, again, I probably, I think that maybe if I can hand them my camera, but I don't know if I wanna try and convince, or try and like show anyone how to use it. So we might just take a picture and I'll insert the picture. Um, but you get into the sand, and then on the picture I saw that there was an onsen, so maybe you go into the onsen from there, and then you shower, oh, you shower from the sand, and then go into the onsen, and then you can head out if you want. So, um, actually it's a really cool experience, and to be honest, just the view right here is, is really nice. Like, it's, it's pretty good vibes. Can't lie. Can't lie about it. Let me show y'all. So here are our views. Cool, cool, cool vibes. All right, you guys, so well, here's the deal. It's done. <laughs> it was cool, um, but I guess I forgot to mention that I'm a little bit claustrophobic. And so as they were starting to put the sand on, it started getting like heavy. Like when they first put it on my chest, I was like, uh-oh. But I was like, let's just do it. And sorry, the sand is like right behind me, so hopefully I'm not sweating too much. But I was kind of like, uh-oh. And then like they put it on my chest and I'm like, okay. And it kept on going down my body. And I was like, I was trying to tell them like Dijabu, which is that's okay, like may, like basically like stop. But I didn't know the right word to say, so they just kept piling it. But I think they saw my face was in distress. So they was like, it's okay. And they were trying to understand what I was trying to say, which I was just trying to say like, every time I said Dijabu, which is it's okay, to them that meant like, oh, she's fine, keep going. And I was trying to say like, that's enough. Um, but overall, like we did it up in there. <laughs> she did good. It was 15 minutes. She lasted 10 before she was like, okay, I'm out. But I had to tap out. She did a good job. <laughs> I was like, I had to tap out. I was like, it's too much. But I couldn't get footage, but um, we got pictures, which it kind of worked out because um, we forgot our camera inside. And so I was able to like leave and shower and come back and get the camera. So I'll just show you all the pictures. And I'll probably insert them too. Hold on because the sun is kind of bright. Let me show you. Ah, I got a lot going on, guys. Hold on. Uh-oh. One second. Okay. Let me get the glare out. Okay. Where's T? Let me get... This is T. Can y'all see it? It's still kind of a glare. But... <laughs> that's how it looked. And it was cool. Like I said, it was a cool experience. But... For anybody that might even be a little bit claustrophobic, I wouldn't recommend, but otherwise, I think it's good. Um, the other thing I should mention is that it was actually really hot, like the sand, and it's naturally heated, like it's heated from the earth, um, but it was really hot. But um, like I say, it was a cool experience. It could have been therapeutic if I wasn't like panicking. And I was trying to like calm myself down. I was like, just breathe, you know, but I couldn't. And I told myself, don't move, because as long as I don't try to move, then it's fine. But if I try to move and can't, that's when it's a problem and I think probably by like the last few minutes I tried to move and it was over so I don't know it was cool now we're about to go get food and then go back to the perfume museum all right you guys so we made our way to a restaurant called restaurant Toyoki it was only a few minutes away from where we just came from um apparently it's pretty popular because there's a 30 minute wait so there's people standing all around waiting to get in I already put my name on the list um they should have like fried chicken is what we were coming for but we'll see what else is on the menu and I'll definitely let you guys know how it tastes. Whew. All right guys, we have made it back to the perfume shop and we basically inhaled that food. Oh my gosh. Um, that was crazy, but I gotta pay. So I'll come back. All right, you guys, so we can choose a bottle and a sticker. So I think I'm gonna choose this bottle. And a gold label sticker. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so this is. Uh, Let's go to a table. What kind of here? So this is a book. So you can read it. Okay. Thank you. 
And it was okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. <sighs> if y'all only knew, we had to go through to get here. Let's see the how to make it. Okay. Oh. So. so this is our instructions. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want to just put it like right in the middle. Sorry. Alright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, middle T. Okay, top, middle, end. Okay. Oh, so these we can sample. So right now, I'm I'm on a second middle. And in. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I think we have to tell her which one we want. Oh, I mean, the better the bottles are right here. Oh, I think if you smell. Oh, smell. yeah, we can test it here. And then yeah, we can test it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.